Jonathan. In today's video, I'll be giving you a detailed review about Lenovo IdeaPad S340. In this video, I'll be giving you all the pros and cons of buying this laptop. I'm also leaving the purchase link in the description below. If you, in case you like this laptop, you can go ahead and click the link and buy the laptop. So let's get started. So we have two A-type USB 3.0 ports and then we have a full-size SD card slot. So then if you can see here, here we have the power LED indicator. So on the other side of the laptop, we have a 3.5 mm headphone port which doubles as a microphone port and then we have a type C USB port then we have a full size HDMI port and this is a there's a charging socket over here if you look at the bottom part of the laptop it comes with uh, two downward firing Dolby audio speakers and we have exhaust for heat dissipation here this laptop has equal weight distribution so I'll be able to open this display of the laptop with a single hand without even holding the base. So let me quickly do a boot test of how fast it is starting. There you go, it is up. It hardly took 4 seconds. So coming to the technical specifications of Lenovo IdeaPad S340, the heart of the laptop consists of Intel i4 10th generation which and the model number is 1035G1. So looking at the RAM, it consists of a 8GB DDR4 which is sold to the motherboard. Looking at the graphics card, it comes with a dedicated 2GB NVIDIA GeForce MX230. Looking at the storage, it comes with the hybrid storage which consists of 256 GB SSD and 1 TB of hard drive. So this model comes with a 15.6 inch IPS full HD backlit display with a 3 side narrow bezel display. So the display has a 720 pixel HD web camera. About the webcam, it is a decent camera for Zoom meeting and Teams meeting. It comes with an inbuilt privacy shutter. So this shutter, I can open it and close it. So this is a good privacy feature. Say if you're accidentally clicking the camera during meeting, especially many of us are working from home and attending online classes. So if he accidentally turns on the front camera, this shutter will protect us from getting into an awkward situation. The display can be opened flat 180 degrees. Coming to the keyboard, it comes with a full-size chiclet style keyboard which is backlit with three levels of brightness. It has good key travel as well. This backlit keyboard is an awesome feature. I like it very much. Especially when you are working in the dock, this helps you very very much. Coming to the keys, the home key, page up, page down and end keys are placed on the arrow keys instead of keeping it above the numbers. We use these keys mostly, they should have kept these at the top. Instead, they have placed dedicated media keys at the top. So it has a dedicated power button at the top. Now moving to the trackpad, we have a relatively large trackpad which supports Windows multi-gesture which is a really good feature. Though it comes with Dolby audio speakers, the loudness and the bass is less, so I would recommend you to use headphones. Now I will be playing you a sample music 
let me set the volume to max it's already set to max and yeah even here it is max let me play this audio sample for you so you can decide on your own of this laptop by playing a sample full HD how punchy the colors are reproduced on the display. Since this is an IPS panel, it has a good viewing angle. If you are a person who watches lots of videos in Netflix or Amazon Prime, this laptop is like a deal breaker for you. Since it comes with the 8GB DDR4 RAM and a SSD, it can handle multitasking without any lag. So I will be demonstrating it to you now. I have opened around 14 applications in my Chrome browser. So let me traverse through each tab now. We have Google Maps, uh, Google uh, Gmail login page, uh, Google Geo, again a main page and Play Store, then a browser, then we have WhatsApp web, we have Twitter login page, we have Wikipedia, again a Gmail login page. And then a Facebook login page. We have YouTube. So I have several, uh, several different web pages open. And you can see how fluid the transition is between each page. In addition to this, I have also opened multiple applications. Let me show you that. So here we have CCleaner. We have Microsoft PowerPoint. We have uh, YouTube in Chrome. We have a uh, VLC Media Player. We have the Microsoft Store. We have Excel and so many other applications are open. And still I am able to traverse through it very smoothly. So that's the performance of this laptop. If you feel that you need to expand your RAM, you can go ahead and do it because the motherboard has a RAM slot. And in the future, if you want to replace the battery, you can very well go ahead and remove the bottom part of the laptop and replace it because this comes with a replaceable battery unlike other laptops which doesn't. But there, are, there is a negative part of this laptop because it doesn't come up with a fingerprint scanner and it doesn't support Windows Hello to unlock your laptop with facial recognition. Be it any portable devices like be a laptop or a phone, we have major concerns about the battery life. Coming to the battery life of our laptop, this laptop has a battery backup with 14 hours of continuous playback of YouTube videos with 50% brightness. So it comes with a 65 watts quick charging. So you can easily charge your laptop on the go. So I have been using this laptop for the past 3 months as a daily driver for my work and if you look at the performance it's really awesome because I have many uh, softwares for coding as well as for testing and the performance is really good and I've also used this laptop for video editing as well as photo editing and it works flawlessly. Coming to the gaming part, if you're a gamer you can go for mild to medium games in this laptop because it has a dedicated Nvidia graphics card so you can play game titles such as PUBG, Fortnite, Call of Duty with a medium to mild graphic settings. As this laptop comes with a hybrid storage of 256 GB of SSD and 1 TB of hard drive, you can store all your programs and softwares in the SSD and the multimedia files in the 1 TB hard drive. The reason being SSD is more fast. So according to me, this laptop is 
very good for students as well as people who work in the software industry. Hope this review was helpful and if you like this video and found this informative, go ahead and hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any queries about this laptop, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. We will be very glad to help you. And if you haven't subscribed for our channel yet, please click on the subscribe button below and do not forget to click on the bell icon. Only then you will get notified on our latest videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.